Your muscles are designed in a way to allow you to keep going to and through failure if you allow them to. I'm Ebenezer Samuel. I'm here with Jeff Cavalier. We're back on Fast Finishers. The last thing you want to do is get to the end of your workout and let things fizzle out. You want to make sure you keep the aggression high. We're going to show you how to do that today for your chest. Particularly with chest, everybody sort of rushes into that workout, International Chest Day, excited. But do you finish as excited as you started? The finisher has to be designed to keep that intensity high. We're gonna do that by taking you to the floor and pushing you to failure. I'm gonna show you how to execute it right now. So we're gonna go heavy dumbbells on our chest finisher, which is fun. It hits that exciting note right off the bat because we're not just doing 100 push-ups. That's one of three things we wanna do. We wanna be exciting. What else do we wanna do? As always, you wanna be efficient too. So the movement, you're not gonna change position on the floor. You get your single set of dumbbells. You're gonna be able to take it uh, one step further each, each run of that ladder. And we wanna be effective in terms of how we're gonna hit things and make sure we're mixing it up. In this situation, that's cool because we get to do some fun eccentric overload ideas here. And this is an exercise I think people traditionally do fairly light, but you don't always have to do it light and it's going to provide a different stimulus that most people aren't accustomed to. That exercise is not a push-up. It is based on a floor fly, so we're going to show that to you now. For one, I do not like the bench fly because I don't like the you know how it could jeopardize the shoulder in this unsupported bench format. The floor here is our safety net. So we go here all the way to failure in a traditional fly. So we're working concentrically to bring the dumbbells back to the top eccentrically on the way down, a limited a bit in our range of motion towards the bottom, but we're still getting the eccentric overload that we're looking for. Again, if we're going heavier here, we have an opportunity to create more eccentric overload because of the way, of the, way of the dumbbells. However, we do know that we are stronger eccentrically than we are concentrically. That means that when I reach failure here, I can take them down and then cheat them back to the top. And the way I do that is just get down to the bottom, bring the elbows down towards the sides. Now treat this like a dumbbell bench press. and then go right back to that eccentric overload. So now what happens here is when you're done and you can't do any more eccentric reps cleanly, then you have the option to keep it going with just a simple press. Because again, you still have some strength left there. And this is one of those mechanical drop sets again that takes advantage of the fact that your muscles are designed in a way to allow you to keep going to and through failure if you allow them to. No change in position, simply going from one position to the next when you reach failure in that position that you're in, and then keeping the intensity high and finishing off with an exercise that typically doesn't get this type of stimulation. I'll take that one for you. Yes, about time you gave me some help. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I love the fact too that you can go heavy and we hit multiple chest functions. So I know you're very big on, on making sure we get some chest adduction in there. Yeah, I mean, most of the exercises we do, I mean, the big three dips, push ups, or bench press, there is no adduction being encountered through those exercises. But here we actually want to make sure we do it. And again, I think load it when we have a chance to. Yeah, and I think that's great too, because this can work if you go a little bit lighter as well. But I think if you're around what, probably like 60, 75% of your pressing weight, you can, you can push the fly, push the load on that, um, and then you finish with that strong press. Yeah, again, you, you can certainly do this with lighter weight and really try to isolate the chest. But I think that as an all encompassing chest finisher, you still wanna have some element to the press. Exactly. So think of that next time you're in your chest workout. You don't need to finish with just a bunch of push ups. You can attack this fast finisher instead. Think of doing three sets or even two sets. I mean, honestly, just doing one set, my chest is really feeling the pump. Yep. So it feels great. Yeah, one or two times for the finisher. Or again, if you want to even turn this into an entire workout, you could. Exactly. So make sure to get this in your workouts. Change up your chest finishers. You don't need to just do downs and downs of push ups, but we can hit this exercise. So we're going fly to eccentric fly to that finish on the press and you will annihilate your chest. You'll thank us for the information right now. The day after your chest workout though, your chest is gonna hate us.